Bartenders of Reddit, what is the smoothest pickup line you've ever heard? Sort of an anti-pickup line but I witnessed a drunk girl get decimated at the bar one night. She was hot, and one of those haha you're cute you should buy me a drink type girls. Some dumpy looking dude walks up to the bar and orders a corona and she pulls the hole and put a rum and coke on there for me, insinuating that he should buy her next drink. He looks at her casually and says make it a rum and diet, and then just walks away. I was speechless. I'd never seen him before and haven't seen him since, sometimes I wonder if he ever existed at all. Not a good pickup line but a good pickup line story. There's a classic which is putting an ice cube on the bar, smashing it with your first and saying that's the ice broken, want to get a drink? Well an awkward friend of mine decided to try it, smashed the ice and managed to ricochet a piece of it into his own eye before being able to say the line, shouted a profanity and staggered off. The girl was pretty confused. Shy girl regularly comes in with her friend, my co-worker and I are pretty chummy with them so we are chatting all night, letting them try some of the new octails shots our bar is trialing. We give them one particular shot and the friend says she doesn't like it too much and asks if it's the kind of drink my girlfriend likes I was single, shy girl picks up her shot, downs it and says yes, it is, then immediately runs out of the building in shyness. We've been dating almost 6 months now. Bartender here. Best pickup I've ever seen was when a group of 3 dudes college age were at the bar on my end. They started talking about this girl on the other side who is clearly the hottest girl in the bar. One of them jokingly said to another if you can get her number without saying a word to her I'll buy you drinks the rest of the night. The kid who was dead waved me down asked for a pen and napkin he walked over and within 10 minutes came back over girl in hand asking his buddy who bet him for 2 patron shots. I asked him what he did and he showed me the napkin with her number. He played hangman on the napkin and spelled out can I have your number and it actually worked. He and his girl were drinking heavily and for free the rest of the night. He also walked out with her so I hope he scored. Bartended in college. Guy walked up to a girl at the bar, goes hi my name is Ben, and I'm going to buy you drinks until you find me attractive. Girl smiled and laughed and he asked what she would like to drink. She looked him over he was already very attractive, turned to me and said in that case, I'll have a water, he definitely got it that night. Saw a dude standing at the bar waiting to order drinks when it was his round and a Britney Spears song comes on. He just happily sings along and wiggles his hips, waiting to order drinks. Wasn't showing off or trying to be funny, just happily doing his thing. The chick next to him was staring the whole time laughing and when he noticed, he just smiled and nodded and went right back to it. She took the bait and that was that. Mail not the smoothest line ever but the best one used on me. I work in a bar restaurant in San Francisco and these two Australian girls came in. One had a boyfriend and she said I plan on getting so drunk that I get carried home tonight, and the single girl turned to me and said, maybe you could help me carry her? I met my current girlfriend while working behind a bar. She got way too drunk so the next time she came up to order a drink I gave her a pint of water and told her she had enough. Her response? Well if you're not going to give me a drink at least give me your number. We have a dog now. Well, I'm a bartender, and so far we're closing up, but if you want another drink, I live upstairs has worked exactly 0% of the time. Edit, thanks guys. Highest rated comment ever is about me not being able to get laid even though I have the perfect setup. Bartender server here. Buzz gentleman extends hand to slightly more buzzed woman and asks, will you hold this while I step outside they come back after sharing a cigarette. Pay the tab, take a cab together to wherever. Pay the tab. Take a cab. Together to wherever. Poem. A co-worker tried to start a game of tic-tac-toe with a pretty girl by drawing an empty board on a napkin and handing her the pen. 
She just wrote down her phone number. That's adorable, but your username troubles me. Not a pickup line, but the smoothest thing I've seen from behind the mahogany. This guy was hitting on this girl at the end of the bar. She asked him, you gonna bring me some roses and this man took two straws, a napkin, and a lighter and I shoe not made a rose with it. You bet your a she left with him. Kudos, sir. Like a drunk Mac Jiva. Not so much a pickup line, but I bartend at a big college bar and when you wordlessly hand your friend a beer when the bar is swamped and he just got there it makes him look that much cooler to whatever girl he's talking to. I had a group of guys who were all hitting on me but were very funny and not annoying about it a true rarity when they paid one left a few extra bucks after already having tipped me on a napkin with his number saying from the cute one then I noticed the one of the other guys left a 20 tip with his number and a note saying from the cuter and smarter one it cracked me up. The only time I considered reaching out to a customer because I wanted to say thanks for the laugh. Do you want the best ex of your life tonight? No. Then I'm the guy for you. I bartend in a pub next to a college campus. I watched a guy say that's interesting or oh, man, that's crazy for a full hour and a half before leaving with a girl way out of his league. Fake it till you make it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man, that's crazy. This thread makes me realize I've never been hit on lol. Baby are you from heaven, cause you're the only 10 I see. Way late to the party but heard this one while closing down a couple weeks back. Come on, let's go back to my place, I'll make you a quesadilla. This girl had been swatting guys away like flies all night but that one worked out. Girls like to eat food. Of course. Not exactly a pickup line. But really clever cool where a girl let me know she was interested. I noticed her on the opposite side of the bar and we smiled at each other. I was newly single, she was with a date and obviously bored. Still. She was with a date, and I'm not gonna interrupt and be that kind of doucher bag. After a few minutes, I walked around to her side of the bar to head to the bathroom. She stopped me and said here, your pocket square is messed up. She fumbled with it a sec, said all good and I moved on to the restroom. I got home later and took my blazer off, noticed something was off w the pocket square. She had stealth stashed a napkin with her name and number. I texted that night and we went out later that week. 11 stroke 10 was impressed with the smooth. Oh, great. Now I've got to go and get pocket squares. I work at a bar in Long Beach NY Mail. A female customer was giving me advice on how to hit on my bartender co-worker female who is a very close friend of mine. She kept feeding me adorable things to say to my friend because she thought we looked cute together. I thanked her and took one step toward my friend then turned back to her and repeated it all back. She took the bait and it landed me back at her place. I was in another country with friends, and I asked the waitress where the best bar in around was. When she started saying oh it depends on what you like, I asked her which one I'd likely find her at. My friends thought it was very smooth. I guess she did too. A girl once bet that if she could fit an entire one of the cupcakes we sold in her mouth without using her hands, I would have to give it to her for free. She did and I did. I was so impressed, I got her a free drink too. Six years later, we're still together eating cupcakes and sh- Cupcakes I can understand, but why so? I'm a bartender. Met my girlfriend when she asked me for two shots of a tequila and Tabasco based shot and then said that one is for you, I still think she's very cool. Texas Prairie Fires. I've had this happen to me before. It's also really fun to buy them for random people at the bar and watch the look of horror on their faces after they take the shot. Not a bartender but hooked up with one once. 
It was closing time and she said, if you don't work here or banging the staff, time to leave I leaned over and said, I guess I'm staying, with the confidence only a recently divorced man could have. It worked, oddly enough. Actually her line worked on you, not the other way around. I worked at a beach bar. I watched a young guy walk up to a smoking hot, tanned, female lifeguard and say help I can't breathe. She was legitimately concerned and asked him what was wrong. He said, looking at you takes my breath away. She was peered for a second then began to laugh. They talked for a little then exchanged numbers. Edit cause of words. I saw a drinking guy sit next to a woman at the bar and say, you mind if I sit here and hit on you for a while. That's my go to pick up line other than Taco Bell hot sauce things. Don't be greedy bro -ther. What are your top Taco Bell pickup lines? Super late to the party but this is one I can answer. And it just happened a few weeks ago. I octail at a bowling alley. A group of high school kids were bowling one night a bunch of them had class of 2017 shirts or hoodies on. I got off work and walked to the front desk to clock off. One of the boys from that group walks up behind me with a bowling ball in each hand and asks if I can do him a favor. I was caught off guard and it was a little random but I was like, um, sure so he motions with one bowling ball hand to his hoodie pocket and asks me to grab his phone out for him, and I'm a little skeptical but I reach in with my pointer and thumb and grab it and set it on the counter for him and continue to clock out. But then the kid says, wait, can you unlock it for me so, I do. And then he asks me to go to the phone, dial. Actually, will you go to the contacts? Now, just put in your number for me. I feel so terrible, I'm pretty sure I humiliated the poor kid, but I apologize and told him that I'm married. He was a cute boy and 10 years ago when I was just getting out of high school that would totally have worked on me. Well at least he had the balls to do it. Edit, my highest rated comment is about another man's balls. IDK how to feel about this. I am not a bartender but I saw this happen at a bar. I was sitting at a table with two of my friends, one girl, one guy. Some guy I have never seen before comes over, places three beers, one in front of each of us and proceeds to start talking to my female friend. I assumed it was just one of her friends I had never met. It took me a solid 5 minutes to figure out this guy was a stranger and then I was blown away with how smooth of a move that was. That guy is a legend. There was a new bartender who had just started at the local ale house. Just an absolutely stunning girl. When I ordered she kindly asked for my ID. One of the other bartenders waved her off and the interaction unfolded like so. Oh he's a regular you don't need to card him. New girl, oh I would just feel better if I did. Me, it's cool if you want to know my address, it's not far from here. Cue the blushing. 10 stroke 10 smoothest I've ever been. I'm not a bartender, but I witnessed this line this weekend and I thought it was fantastic. After this girl had turned down some pretty good looking fellow, this other guy walks up to the bar like he's going to order a drink and just casually says man, he's definitely taller than me so I sure hope I can make you laugh. Didn't watch the whole thing unfold, but they were still chatting when I left. I met my girlfriend working at a bar. The dress code was terrible, all black with white suspenders and a white bow tie. She patron and was wearing an adorable dress with a bow in her hair. The music was super loud EDM nightclub so I just pointed to her hair, and wiggled my bow tie, and winked. About 20 minutes later I get her phone number. We've been together for almost 4 years. My first month of bartending I had a girl quickly finish two cosmos. I came up and asked her how she was doing. I'd have another one, but you'd have to take me home. 
her group of friends got a nice laugh when I blushed. Then you bought her another one? Not while I was at work but was on a late train once and watched a tipsy woman chat a guy into getting off at the next stop to go to a pub that had a jazz band on tonight. I know the pub she named and I know full well there was no jazz band on that night. That lady was hot and that guy was super lucky. Edit. Ages band is not a thing people. I mean I'm not saying I wouldn't go see one if I heard about it. Edit 2. Ages band is a thing in Star Wars. Please let my rest nerds. Or maybe she murder robbed him. I bartended a gay spa. I've seen pickups happen with no words, just eye contact and apparent telepathy. They're so gay their gayda has text messaging. Do you want to come over and see my ceiling while I make excuses for 30 minutes? I borrowed my friend's tiny backpack, put it on, and asked a woman at the bar, does this make my ear look fat? It was literally the only time I've ever gotten a woman's phone number at a bar. Not a bartender but tried this line at the bar. Very pretty girl standing at the bar and I walked up to her and said can I buy you a drink or do you just want the money? She took the drink, 5 years later she took everything else I had. I once was flirting with a bartender, real cute blonde. I had her chatting with me, when she then asked if I had a girlfriend. I said no I don't, but if I did, it would be this girl. Would you like to see her photo she said yeah, sure so I put my phone into camera mode with the front camera on and gave her the phone, she looked at it and saw herself and let out a chuckle as she blushed. I once saw a girl go up to a fellow in a goth club and ask him if he washed his clothes in Windex. He was supposed to say no so she could say, that's weird, cause I sure can see myself in your pants. Trouble was, he was wearing patent leather pants, and excitedly answered yes. Aren't they shiny her line was ruined, but they left together anyway. She could have altered it to an affirmative, ah oh, no wonder I can see myself in your pants. Currently reading all of these smooth af comments while sitting alone at the bar on my phone. Looks like I'm gonna need another beer. Dude comes up to the bar, points to a smoke and asks me to get her a cup of ice water without telling her what it was and saying it was from him. She gets the drink, looks over at the guy and they both smile at each other. Then she takes a sip and her face becomes full of a utter confusion and waft them. Guy walks over smiles and says just making sure you're staying hydrated they both laugh and later on end up violently making out. Not a bartender but was at a bar with three friends a few years ago and one of the waitresses was deaf. We watched a guy go up to her, sign some stuff to her, she smiled and excitedly wrote something down, handed it to him and walked away. He walked by us, showed us the number and said four years of sign language in high school finally paid off for once. Edit. To everyone who's commented something about phone number, there's a thing called texting. I was a bartender for a little while. On my last day I was celebrating my last day with everyone and the hottest girl at the bar that day said after your shift wanna come over and celebrate literally the only time that has happened to me in my life, I am still riding on that high. So, did you? Not a bartender but I was sitting alone at a bar and heard a guy say this to the girl next to me you look like a night of disappointment and week of dodged phone calls I didn't hear the rest of the conversation but they left together. Former bartender here, this straightforward nihilistic sh works. Especially in colder climates in the dead of winter. I wouldn't kick you out of bed for eating crackers. I was bartending at the Legion. She was a nice lady. Step 1. Write phone number on Lime. Step 2. Identify attractive person. Step 3. Hand Lime to attractive person and tell them it's a pickup Lime. Step 4. Don't take dating advice from me.
Edit. Everyone is ignoring step 4 and now I think I will be responsible for a lime shortage. I handed a cute customer two pints of beer. He fumbled and inevitably dropped one, spilling it all over me. Looked at me with his cutest smile and said if I pretended I did that on purpose so I could use the let's get you out of those wet things line, would you laugh or throw me out? I laughed, and he spent the rest of the evening being sent to the bar by his friends to buy every single round, so that he could flirt more. We went on a date a week later, and were together for nearly 4 years. Late response, but a guy sat down next to a woman at the bar. She was obviously not interested. Then he said I may not be the best looking guy here, but I'm the only one talking to you. You should try lowering your standards. I just did. She threw her drink in his face and slapped him. Always keep your mouth open when insulting a woman. Free drinks. Fancy a drink after my shift ends? She replied yeah sure. We're married now. This line worked on me, I'm the bartender in this situation. Guy buys a drink for himself and the girl next to him. I ring him up and as I'm handing him the receipt the girl looks me dead in the eyes and says, I was just telling him how you look like you probably have a really nice D, I literally didn't know how to react, and as I'm standing there she kinda slaps this dude's arm and was like tell him I'm serious, he just nods, clearly not knowing how to react either, but confirming that she had, in fact, told him that I looked like I probably had a nice D. She hung around my corner of the club until close and then asked me straight up if I'd be interested in coming home with her, and said if I wasn't then no worries, have a good night. It was so direct and to the point that I had no issue going home with her so I did and we've met up a couple more times since. Furiously scribbling notes. It's not a pickup line, but when I was working as a bartender I witnessed something pretty epic hilarious. A good mate of mine was at the bar, and he's a pretty stingy guy so he doesn't spend too much when out on the town, and usually doesn't get pee drunk. So yeah, my mate's been at the bar all night, chatting to friends and other random patrons, and there is this total babe sitting on the other side of the bar from him that's been eyeing him all night. I have no idea if he's even aware of her or not. So she's been sitting there for ages, sort of waiting for something to happen just sipping on her lolly drink. No dudes are bothered to approach her or anything so far. This keeps up for a bit, and then this buff scary looking guy comes to the bar, totally wasted, and asks me for a beer. He asks me quietly what the hot lady's been drinking and tells me to get her another one. He pays up and goes to the bathroom or someplace. I give the lady the drink and tell her it's compliments of a gentleman admire a lol and she just looks straight at my mate. Being the total miser that he is, he just nods at her and cracks a sly grin. She walks up to him and they start chatting, and two minutes later they leave together. Meanwhile, the big guy comes back and sees the lady missing, and promptly orders himself another drink. Lol. Edit. Wow, this is my highest rated comment ever. And even when it's just a story of him, my friend still wins. Damn. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment.